welcome to the heart of a Viking. This channel offers elementary art lessons taught by Mrs. Minto from the Cape and Lopen School District in Delaware. I look forward to virtually creating with you. There are new lessons posted weekly. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss a single one. So go grab your art supplies and your thinking caps and let's begin. Hey third graders, I'm so glad to be creating this 3D castle with you. So to begin, you're going to need some cardboard tubes. Uh, you can either get the kind that come out of a paper towel roll or a toilet paper tube. In any case, you just need uh, one or two or three, depending on how big you want your castle to be. You can even get more. So I'm gonna start with one paper towel tube and one of the toilet paper tubes. Okay, so now that you have these cardboard tubes, you're going to need to trim down probably the longer one. So I could just cut this one in half or I'm not sure. I think I might actually want another one that's the same size as my little toilet paper tube. So I'm going to line these two up together here and go ahead and trim this down so it's the same size as my first one. So I think I'm going to have a castle with three like columns and I'll have my two smaller tubes and I'll have my longer tube here. So I just trimmed off some of the extra little pieces from cutting. All right, great. Now I'm going to change the top edge of these so they look more castle-like. So I'm going to make two little slices, then bend out that little piece and then trim it off. Done. Looks like you lost a tooth. Oh man, okay. So then move over and do it again. Chomp, chomp, bend it down, and then cut it straight across. So I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around. Okay, and then when that's completed, I'm going to make my other one match as well. You do not have to do this on every single one of your tubes, but you can if you want to. So I'm planning to do this on the two smaller tubes here, and then when I get to my bigger one, I'm going to do something different. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so on this taller tube, instead, I'm actually going to put a roof. So because I'm going to be adding a roof from another sheet of paper onto the top of this one, I'm not going to cut the little like pieces out to make it look like a castle. So I'm just gonna leave this one alone, leave it the way it is, and move on to painting my tubes next. Okay, so next I'm going to get out some gray paint. I have some gray tempera paint, acrylic paint would work well too. And I'm going to paint pretty much the whole surface. So if I hold my hands inside the tube, I find that I can turn it around. I have two fingers in there, three fingers works great. Oh, actually I have three fingers in there, sorry. Three fingers works great. If your hand is smaller, you can put a fourth finger in there, put a little pinky guy in there too. And then I'm just gonna keep twisting this around and painting the whole thing gray. Now, I am going to add one extra step here. While my paint is still wet, I'm going to draw some lines across that make it look like it's made out of stones. So I'm using like my, um, like the handle of my paintbrush to scratch away some of the paint, making it look like the stone blocks that make up the outside of a castle. You can totally do that too. It does gather a bit of paint on your paintbrush on the handle there, so you have to be careful not to bump into it, but it's a great technique to use and all it's doing really is scraping it away and if you mess up then you can just paint over it like this and try again so that's great too now that only works while the paint is wet so if the paint happens to dry you won't be able to do that so did you notice I only painted like half of my tube maybe even only a third before I went ahead and scratched because if I had painted more than that there's a good chance my paint might have started to dry and then it won't scratch away like this so if you're doing this technique only paint a little bit of it maybe a third of the way around or a half a way around do the scratching technique to make the blocks and then paint another area and then I'm going to repeat this on all three of my tubes
So if you haven't already guessed it, you can probably guess now that this project is a two-day project. So you're going to put this aside, let those pieces dry up, and when we come back the next time, we're going to be looking for the castle part two. And we'll, on that day, we're going to begin assembling the castle, putting the pieces together, and creating all kinds of really cool additions to our cardboard tubes. So I will see you back here next time at the Heart of a Viking.